Sitting on top of the bay, wasting time. Hey to everyone, this is Chrissy Love, and welcome to Chrissy Love's Dolly Nursery. Thank you for joining me. And if you can, you know, subscribe, hit that like button, you know, so I can start getting these videos generating, you know, out there in that algorithm. But yeah, today we are here with my two babies, my beautiful babies. I already introduced you to this lovely little man. And yeah, he in the same outfit. I'm going to change him. <laughs> I just got off of work, so I'm just like, oh my goodness. I don't feel like changing babies today. But he was like, Mama, how are you going to introduce my brother without having me in there? So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Because I was just going to do my beautiful boy, Jeremiah. But my lovely boy, Josiah, wanted to join with his big brother. So I want to introduce you to my beautiful baby, as I call him, Jeremiah. So this is Josiah and this is Jeremiah. And they both are scopes from Laura Tuzio Ross. Everyone knows that this is the, well, the ones who are collectors know that this is the Jalen scope. And for those who don't know, this is the Jalen scoped <laughs> by Laura Tuzio Ross. So um, I actually have an interesting story about my beautiful Jeremiah. I got him off of Macari. You know, and he was a manifestation baby. You know, I have a lot of what they call manifestation babies where I would say, okay, I want this baby. And then I'll either get on Macari or I get on eBay or, or uh, you know, Susan's Corner or something like that. And then I end up getting those babies. So, you know, um, he's one of them. Okay. I still happen to see this beautiful baby. I seen the sculpt on someone's channel and I was like, oh my God, I really want that scope. But I did, I seen it months ago. And so as I got on Macari, you know, and I was buying babies because the majority of my babies I bought off Macari. So I got various different types of babies. I got, you know, Lee Middleton dolls I bought off Macari, high-end ones and, you know, kind of like the, the ones that need work. You know, I got reborn babies off Macari, some really cool ones, and then some ones that need work, that needed work. So, you know, I got Macari stories. Oh my God, when I tell you guys the things I've gone through up Macari, <laughs> we're buying dolls and stuff. So I'm gonna be, you know, giving you guys some of the things that I've gone through, some stories, true stories of the things I've gone through, and maybe it can be some help for the future collectors, new collectors that's coming in. You know, a few things that you guys could probably look out for or watch out for. But I got this wonderful, amazing, beautiful little boy from, um yeah, Macari. Someone was selling him on um, Macari, you know what I mean? Um, and he was reborn by Gladys' nursery. And it's crazy because, I like I said, when I seen this baby, I'm like, oh, my God, I want him, I want him. But when I, you know inquired about him he was pretty expensive and when the person uh his previous mommy had posted him on macari she posted him for a, a pretty high price and see people you know i don't know people have to understand like it ain't just about the price on there it's about you know the delivery the shipping i should say you know and then you know the um the taxes and stuff and when you add that along with the price that the person's asking for it it can add up to a, a good chunk of change. So um, when she first posted him, I was like, nah, I'm going to wait, you know, but I'm like, damn, I want him. I want him. And I told him, I told myself, I'm like, if she posts him at a lower price, the price that I can afford, I'm getting him. And it took a while, but she showed sure it. She ended up, you know, dropping the price, dropping the price. And one thing I realized about Macari, you know, um, for, you know, uh, a tip, tip or tidbit about Macari when a person, you know, sometimes you have to hold out on buying the babies. You don't just buy certain babies just right away. You know what I'm saying? You got to hold out because sometimes, you know, you'll end up paying a high price and didn't have to. It's kind of like a hit and miss because sometimes you'll hold out too long and then miss the baby. 
but he was just too expensive. And then, you know, how you know that a price is going to be adjusted is when you, you know, um, when the person posts a doll, let's just say a person posts a doll and they keep lowering the price and lowering the price and lowering the price. That's when you know that you have a good chance of not only getting the doll at a lower price, but you can negotiate and get it at an even lower price. You know what I mean? So that's a few little nuggets, you know, for those who don't know about buying babies off Macari. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, always like the babies, like push that heart on the babies so it can be a part of your list. And then once you do that, um, monitor it if it's a baby you particularly like. And if you see that the uh, the seller is constantly lowering that price, you know what I mean? Keep your eye out on that because you just might get it low enough for you to buy it. So, yeah, that's a few little nuggets that I throw out there for those who don't know. You know, a lot of y'all may already know that. But anyway, so I was able to purchase him. Matter of fact, he is hands down the doll that I spent the most on out of all of my dolls. You know what I mean? But he was the doll that I wanted the most out of all of my dolls. So, you know, he's such a beautiful baby. Now, one thing about Gladys's nursery, that woman paints her behind off, okay? His tones are so beautiful on his face and stuff like that. Like, even skin tone. He came to me in really good condition. He weighs about eight pounds, and his hair is just so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She rooted his hair amazingly. She ve She did veining on him. You know, his arms and legs are perfectly weighted. And stuff, you know, and my daughter out of these two, my daughter loved him. But when I put him in her arms, because she had came to visit me, she didn't see none of my, my reborn dolls. And I kept telling her, I'm like, I want you to come see my reborn babies. I want you to see your reborn sisters and brothers. And then she kept saying, okay, mom, I'm going to come, I'm going to come. And when she finally came, I put him, which one I put in her arms first? I think I put, I put Josiah in her arms first. And then she held him. She's like, oh my God, because this is the one I sent her pictures of. But I never sent her pictures of Jeremiah. But once, uh, cause I want Jeremiah to be, a, a um, a surprise for her. You know what I'm saying? And so she sat on my bed and I'm like, okay. After she got finished holding him and telling me how cute he was. I'm like, I got another surprise for you. And I lifted this, this weighted boy, cute little boy and put him in her arms. She was like, oh my God. Like she was surprised. She was like, mom, he looks so much like a real baby. And he feel like a real baby. She could not keep her ex like she her mouth was open how surprised she was about you know just how well weighted he is you know what I mean so I was very very blessed to have him and I really feel like it was a manifestation you know when you throw when you put your when you put your attentions out there in the universe you never know how they're gonna come back and you know a lot of times you end up getting what you want if you believe you know what I mean and yeah I, it happened to me numerous times with a lot of my babies. So, yeah, he, you know, he's a beautiful addition. And, you know, like I said, he's my most expensive baby, but well worth what I paid for him. And he's just absolutely gorgeous. Look at these pretty lips. <laughs> and look at his hair and his tone. That woman, my goodness. How just she just amazingly just she just did them amazingly like just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so these is my two boys and I got one more Laura Two Zero Ross reborn baby that I'm gonna share with you guys soon but uh, yeah these are my two babies and I love them very much and you know I, I call them their brothers you know all my babies are sisters and brothers but they're brothers you know what I'm saying. And they just completely go together very well, you know, and just, it's wonderful. I love this hobby, you know, my mom introduced me to this hobby, you know, and I'm gonna tell the story about that too, but I absolutely love this hobby and I'm just so happy that it's a part of my life. It's an extension, uh, you know, to my joy, you know what I'm saying? It brings me so much joy and I'm just... And I'm so happy to know that there's a community out there of women that love, you know, dolls like I do. You know what I mean? It just makes it that much more great. So you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, you know, and I will talk to you soon. Okay. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. 
I hate to leave you, but I really must say good night, sweetheart. Good night. See you guys later.